negative thoughts frequently come out of a habit. And this is where they come even in spite of good thoughts. So for a lot of us, what happens is we embark on a spiritual path and we make a very concerted effort, a very conscious effort. I'm going to think positively. I'm going to not have judgment. I'm going to be peaceful. I'm going to be loving. I'm going to see the divine in all. I'm going to just chant my mantra, do my japa. And as long as we stay conscious and present and mindful, we succeed. The dilemma becomes when I lose my consciousness and then my habituated thoughts come in. This is where the practice of mindfulness and of being in the present moment, of being conscious, is so important. If I'm really consciously here, those old patterns of negative thought won't come. They only come when I'm not being present. And so whenever you see them, don't, don't analyze it too much. Don't push it away. Don't fight with it. Don't hate it. Don't yell at yourself. It's like going back to what we were saying about the ego. Just see it. Recognize it. Oh, yeah, that's my judgment. Nice to see you, but unfortunately, you're not welcome tonight. Have a good day. And take your mind back to the present moment. Bring the mind back to your breath. Bring it back to your mantra. Bring it back to seeing the divine. Bring it back to just being aware and mindful in the moment. Bring it back to that. In the present moment right here, there isn't the place for the negative thoughts. The negative thoughts, the judgment, all of that comes when I'm in this habituated part of my mind, when I'm in my ego mind, when I'm in a place of separation. Because negativity comes only when I'm separate. So if I feel separate from you, I can be negative about you. When I feel separate from myself, I can be negative about myself. I can only be negative about something if I'm separate from it. When I'm one with it, it's also the only way we can harm something. I can only abuse another, harm another, cheat another, cut a tree, eat an animal, pollute a river. I can only do any of these things when I feel separate from that which I'm harming, whether it's a human, whether it's a body of water, whether it's a tree, whether it's an animal. Only when I feel separate from it can I harm it. And in the same way, this pattern of negativity is there only when I'm separate from either the people I'm feeling judgment about, oh, this guy's stupid, this one's stupid, that one's too fat, that one's too thin, this one's ugly, this one is lame, whatever it may be. Or if I feel separate from myself. You're this, you're that. If I feel separate from God, nothing good is going to happen to me. God has forsaken me. That's only when I feel separate. And so any practice that brings you back into oneness is going to be a practice that brings you back into truth. Now, that doesn't mean that things we would consider negative don't happen in life. People get sick and die. We get sick, we'll die eventually. Stock market crashes. Divorces happen. We get fired from our job. Houses burn down. Accidents happen on the freeway. I mean, simply 
being spiritual, thinking positive, being connected, does not mean that these things don't happen in the world. And when they happen, we're present with them. And sometimes what's, what's present in the moment is grief, sadness. Car accident happens, an illness happens, people die. People we know die, people we don't know die. You read a news story, you see something, some children died, it's sad. Nothing wrong with that. It's part of the, part of the human existence. We've been given hearts so we can feel. Tear ducts so we can cry. To be able to experience that that pain, that sadness, that grief, that's part of the, the human spectrum of emotion. But that's different from when you talk about just negative habitual thoughts. So this is where it's important to understand. Is what I'm having a true, real, honest feeling in the moment? And if so, be with it. If there's sadness, be sad. If there's grief, grieve. But what you'll find with those is they change very quickly. When we actually are present with our, our feelings in an honest way, they don't last very long. They come like a wave, it builds, and then it dissipates, and then some other feeling comes. And then it dissipates, another feeling comes, it dissipates. That's being aware. And we're able to see them for what they are. Yeah, sadness, grief, loss. And that's what's present in that moment. But also in the presence is the me who's saying, ah, grief, sadness. Who is that? Who's the one saying, ah, that's grief? Who's the one saying, ah, sadness? Who's that I? Who's the one watching me be sad? And then we have the opportunity to watch it, to be present with it, but to be present with it from a completely different place. To be present with it from sitting on the cliff watching the waves of the ocean instead of actually being the one in the waves of the ocean. We're still there. We haven't run away. But instead of being tossed around in the waves, we're able to watch the waves. So they're just different levels of awareness. One level is, I'm in the wave. Another level is, I'm sitting on the cliff, watching the wave. And then there's even another level that's watching myself sit on the cliff, watching the wave. And those are all places of awareness, places of presence, just deeper and deeper. But the negative thoughts that come just out of habit, just the nonsense, subconscious kind of commentary that runs in our mind, that's the stuff that we want to get free of. That's the stuff that comes when I'm not present. And so when you find that coming, just bring your awareness back to the present moment. Bring it back to the breath. Don't try to say, be positive. Just be present. Instead of saying, be positive, say, be present. Be right here, right now. Be with the breath. Be with the environment. Be with the smells of wherever I am. Be with the sights of wherever I am. Be with the experience of my breath entering and exiting my body. Be with the chanting of my mantra. Be with the divinity of the experience of where I'm sitting, the experience of the divinity within me the divinity in those I'm with, whether it's a tree or a human being? Can I experience the divinity in them? 
be present with that. And that'll, sh that'll quiet all of that subconscious, constant monkey mind negativity. This is where the teaching is just to keep being present, being present. Come back to right here, right now. Get out of separation, be in oneness. <laughs>